Hi guys, it's Ben from Pack Solutions here. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about a new product of ours called EV60. Now what this is, is a product that's been formulated um, to remove hot melt adhesive from both machines and components. Okay, so um, I've got a new machine here, but I've also got a machine that's come in for servicing. And I'm going to do a little demo using this uh, the machine that's in for servicing because it's slightly older and it's got a lot of build up on it. And this is typically... Um, the state of, of the machines that you, that, you, that you would use this product on. Uh, there's no, no point in me demoing on a new machine because it's already nice and clean. Okay, so um, what I'll do is I'll just grab a rag because um, this is running about 170 degrees here so I don't burn myself. Okay, so the product I'm using again, it's called EV60. Um, and what I'm going to do here, as you can see around the top of the lid here, there's a lot of uh, glue buildup. And I'm sure you operators know um, what th this is like to get off. It's very difficult to, to get off, especially once it sets. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to give it a light spray. I'm just going to go along the front of the machine here. I'll leave this stuff on the side so you can see the difference between the two once I've finished. Okay, so we'll give it a, a bit of a spray here. And I'll just put some on the end of my rag. Now, I'll just give it a light rub and we'll see how well it comes off. And as you can see there, it's, it's taking the hot melt straight off. Uh, if you've got any left over, you can just give it another light spray, just as a final little coat and um, that should come straight off. So you can see the difference there between the, the, the residual hot melt that was there and the nice clean surface here. Um, on this side, I've actually got um, some hot melt that we've set on the machine earlier to show you how well it gets off uh, set hot melt uh, after it's dried. So what I'll actually do here is I'll give this area a little spray. Uh, on the lighter stuff here, it should come off fairly quickly. On the thicker stuff that we've got here and here, um, I would probably give that a spray, but I would leave it uh, for about five minutes, five to ten minutes or so. So I'll just start with the stuff up here. Give it a spray. We'll let that sit for a couple of seconds, and then I'll try uh, just wiping it off in a circular motion. We'll see how that goes. And as you can see there, it just takes the product straight off. So as you can see from that demo we did earlier, um, it removes all of the stuff pretty easily, all of the set stuff. And along the top of the lid there, the melted hot melt, uh, after just a, a few seconds of, of having this with the rag, uh, comes straight off. Now what I've done is those heavier bits that I showed you earlier, I've sprayed, given those a good spray, we're going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. We'll come back to it in a sec. Okay, so the product is a Guard EV60, and I've used the 750ml bottle here. We've also got it in a 5 litre container, um, so you can buy it in bulk and get it a little bit cheaper for, for the guys that uh, would use it a lot out on the floor. Um, I would suggest if you've got uh, a lot of these hot melt machines, um, then probably buying it in the 5 litre container is a, is a lot better. Okay, so we've left these larger chunks here soaking for about 10 minutes in the EV60. And what I'm going to do now is just, as I did before, I'll just start giving it a rub down um, and just see if it comes off. Okay, so it should be getting in underneath it. It should pretty much lift up. Lift up. Yep, that's coming off. So I'll just keep going and we'll see as you can see there after a little bit of rubbing it's come off if you've got some leftover bits you can just give it another spray and just let it soak for a little bit longer they'll come off in another few minutes so as you can see there, the EV60 product um, works pretty well on hot melt applications. Um, 
Now, probably what I would do after I've cleaned these surfaces, especially something like the lid, is I would give it a quick coat in another product of ours called Gardex, which I'll talk about uh, in another video. Um, if you need to find anything more about these products, the EV60, either in the 750ml spray bottle or in the 5 litre container for larger applications, uh, you can contact us on uh, www.packsolutions.com.au that's P-A-C solutions.com.au and our email address is service at packsolutions.com.au Alternatively, you can leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, I've been Ben for Pack Solutions. This is EV60 and we'll see you next time. Thanks.